Uh, the Lion in Winter is about Henry II and his family, and it's time to choose an heir for who's to be king after Henry dies. Him and his wife, Eleanor, can't agree over who should be the next king. She got locked up in prison because she tried to kill him a few times. All three of his sons want to be the next king, so there's a lot of chaos and planning and deals going on. The show is a wonderful take on, on family dynamics. Who is going to inherit the throne, the nature of power, the nature of manipulation. It's a very universal theme. A big part of the show is everybody f says that they love each other, but you can tell that they don't. You get to see just planning and manipulating and just bargaining. Hopefully you don't just see the drama in the show and you really get the comedy out of it. It's exciting, it's fun, in a way that you wouldn't necessarily think of a dank 11th century castle in the middle of winter to be. <laughs> I think this show is intended for pretty much all ages other than like really young children. Even though it's written in more of like a period style, the language isn't hard to understand, which is nice. It feels very much like contemporary banter, so it is very much arguing with your mother or arguing between parents. If you like Shakespeare, you're gonna love this. If you like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, you are going to adore this. On a scale of one to 10, the show's awesomeness rate is probably like a solid 20. I'd give it a 20. <laughs> a lot of the things that you see on stage are built specifically for this production and for the people who are wearing them. So we have a wide variety of people who are very invested in how the show looks. So we get to build these, these characters who existed in history, but we also get to build this theatrical idea of them, this larger than life idea of who Henry was, of who Eleanor was. We're in a costuming class right now, so a lot of us within the show actually are helping construct the costumes. It's my first time really like making like a costume piece, so that's a little difficult. Well, it's been really interesting to see uh, a bunch of us who have no sewing experience, no costuming experience, make these period pieces and going through that process, but it's been really fun and I'm really excited to see them on the stage. It's really fun to see everyone like come together and make all their costumes and just see how everything is turning out within the show. It's definitely interesting when we have like these period pieces and in our, cl our costume construction class, it's not just, you know, like in costume shop, we just pull costumes and we hem if we need to or we order stuff if we need to. This is like the actual building costumes from scratch for each of the actors. It's so fun to get to be able to experience all aspects of theater. It's not just acting or set or lights or costumes. It's a mix of everything. We all get an opportunity to try one thing at least once. Working with the other actors, it's super fun. We have a great cast. We all get along. It's really nice to have a smaller, tighter knit department and you all kind of know each other. I think it's helped me grow my public speaking skills and I just really like being on stage. In the fall, I was playing Seymour in Little Shop of Horrors. I went from playing young, naive and innocent to strong, older and powerful. And so it's been very fun uh, just having all those opportunities. Being involved in CSC theater is definitely one of the best things that I've done Like since I've been here. It really gives you that sense of like having something bigger to participate in. And it's a lot of hard work at first, but when the show finally comes together and you get to see all of it for the first time, it's really cool. CSC is really helping me prepare to be doing theater outside of school. I really want to continue doing theater once I graduate. And so just having these different roles under my belt, being able to expand what I can do has been amazing.